The following is a production of New Mexico State University. We're at the Oak Creek Garden of Sally Berkshire, southeast of Sedona. Sally, this is spectacular. Well, welcome, Dr. Smith. So you're really not stuck with just cacti. You've really got roses here. I have the most wonderful roses, and it's amazing, even in this heat, how oh. they bloom. Look at their just absolute bouquets. They're, They're just beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Arizona is an amazing place. Um, Gosh. And you've got they, a redbud tree here that's going to shade the roses. That's right. This will grow about 30 feet high. It's a red bud. It's a hybrid. Mm -hmm. And this should give these little guys um, a little relief when it gets to be July and August. And look, this. Look at this bouquet. Isn't this lovely? I wouldn't expect something like that in the heat here. So you've got a variety yes. of gardens here. I certainly do. Now, what we need to do, I will show you the butterfly, butterfly and garden. hummingbird garden. Oh. Come on. I like your old man cactus here. Isn't he fun? I sometimes get a comb out and <laughs> we're having a party and fluff him up a bit. And this mm -hmm. hair li these hair-like spines are really good because they shade the plant. And in really? this hot environment, it keeps it from sunburning. Oh, and how interesting. Up. And okay. here I see sedum. Yes. Good choice. Yes, it's wonderful in the heat here in Sedona. It blooms. It's just starting to bloom now. It's just fabulous. And the Dusty Millers, the Dusty Gilardias. Millers. Yes. A lot of butterflies in here, I would imagine. We have butterflies and the hummingbirds love this area. So you have wildlife in your garden. We certainly do. Not we... the four-legged, just the flying kind. And you said you had even quail nesting here. We do. Twice a day they come over here and drink and uh, their little family. We've watched them grow. It's quite lovely. And then the new petunia. These are wonderful. They grow so quickly. And it just spills over into this lovely, lovely look, trying to keep it low. And your aurora, I like it here. It's like yes. a natural spring. Yes. And you've got dry plants all around it, so it looks like it belongs right here. Right. Where does the water go? Well, actually, this water flows down uh, to the large pond below us. And in the arroyo, it goes out that way, should we have a monsoon uh, effect. And so it all waters and feeds. So you so built an arroyo for the overflow. Yeah, you bet. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.